file in this March 18, 1973, file photo taken in wounded knee. S. D. American Indian Movement leader Dennis Banks left, reads an offer by U. S. Government seeking to effect an end to the Native American takeover of Wounded Knee. Looking on as AIM leader Carter Camp, the family of Banks said he died Sunday, October 29, 2017, at the age of 80. AP Photo, Jim Moan. File, Dennis Banks, a co-founder of the American Indian Movement and a leader of the 1973 Wounded Knee occupation, has died. His family announced Monday, he was 80. Banks was one of several activists who founded the American Indian Movement in Minneapolis in 1968, and he was a leader of AIM's armed takeover of Wounded Knee on the Pine Ridge Reservation in South Dakota in 1973, in a protest against both the tribal and U.S. governments. The village had been the site of a massacre by U.S. Soldiers in 1890 that left an estimated 300 Indians dead. The occupiers held federal agents at bay for 71 days. Banks died Sunday night. His family wrote on his Facebook page. He had developed pneumonia following heart surgery. And his family said they honored his wishes not to be put on life support. Daughter Arrow Banks told the Associated Press the family would have more to say after a family. Meeting Monday, Banks, whose Ojibwe name was Nawakimig, lived near the town of Federal Dam on the Leech Lake Reservation in northern Minnesota. His family said that as Banks took his last breaths, son Minnow Banks sang him four songs for his journey. All the family who were present prayed over him and said our individual goodbyes. The family said, Then we proudly sang him the AIM song as his final send-off. Banks and fellow AIM leader Russell Means faced charges stemming from the wounded knee occupation. But a judge threw out the case. However, Banks spent 18 months in prison in the 1980s after being convicted for rioting and assault for a protest in Custer, South Dakota. Earlier in 1973, he avoided prosecution on those charges for several years because California Gov. Jerry Brown refused to extradite him, and the Onondaga Nation in New York gave him sanctuary. Banks was part of a group of AIM supporters who returned to Wounded Knee in 2003 to mark the 30th anniversary of the standoff, in which two Native Americans died. Banks paid tribute to them as warriors and declared it a national holiday. Quote, he was also there in 1998 for the 25th anniversary. Banks also helped lead a takeover of the Bureau of Indian Affairs offices in Washington, D.C., in 1972 as part of a protest dubbed the Trail of Broken Treaties, and he was a participant in the 1969-71 occupation by Native Americans of Alcatraz Island, the site of the former prison in San Francisco Bay. He returned to the Leech Lake Reservation in the late 1990s and founded a company that sold wild rice and maple syrup, trading on his famous name. In 2010, Banks joined several other Ojibwe from the Leech Lake and White Earth bands who tested their rights under an 1855 treaty by setting out nets illegally on Lake Bemidji a day before Minnesota's fishing season opener. The Banks family said funeral arrangements were still being finalized, but that he would be buried with traditional services in his home community of Leech Lake. File In this May 14, 2010, file photo, American Indian activist Dennis Banks left, speaks to reporters on Lake Bemidji. During an American Indian treaty rights protest in Bemidji, Min, the family of Banks says he died Sunday. October, 29, 2017, at the age of 80. Banks was a co-founder of the American Indian Movement and a leader of the Wounded Knee Occupation. In 1973, AP Photo, Jeff Bainan, File, File, in this Feb. 27, 2003, File Photo, Dennis Banks, one of the founders of the American Indian Movement, AIM, 
speaks to the crowd gathered to commemorate the 30th anniversary of the AIM standoff at Wounded Knee. S. D. The family of Banks says he died Sunday, October 29, 2017, at the age of 80. Banks was a co-founder of AIM and a leader of the Wounded Knee occupation in 1973. AP Photo, Doug Dreyer File